confidence. You know, Liege get a little bit spicy in interviews, say they're going to win two to one. Naf's got the opening kill, spotted a second player towards the B bomb site. Defense goes one for one, and now it's all on refresh. He's got backup at Donut. Did love that they brought up the highlight of Refresh absolutely breaking Team Liquid in Season 14. Yes, different lineup, but same man that's going to be going against them. And he pops out late. Shush already with two phenomenal shots. OC, Nitro, Elise, all gone. In B, we're left with just Shocks. Katie, and the only one to depart so far on the heroic side as Shocks will make contact at range. The Glock, USP. That's not a fun fight for that weapon, is it? <laughs> Katie. All right, getting a little bit frisky, getting a little bit investigative. Stown, Desk had a lot of positive things to say about him, and with good reasons. I think everyone's got a lot of positive things to say about him at the moment. He's performing so well, hitting a great peak for Heroic to start out this year, to start out 2022. And this round, uh, no armors, no upgraded pistols for Team Liquid. They'll be buying AKs in the next one. So nice, easy five kills, no death for Heroic. It's nutty. Ooh. Ooh we like, I feel like I have seen this, but have we not seen this more often? He's trying to get himself pushed into the corner so he doesn't get moved. Do they see him? Doesn't matter if they did or not. They walk straight back into Acadia and just obliterates OC. I'm sure someone in the world has, but that's the first time I'm seeing that triple boost. That's pretty cool. I, I like it. I admire it. That's pretty freaking powerful, though, I will say. But again, it's like one of those boosts similar. I'll use the Olaf as an example. If you know where to look, it's a pretty easy target based on what we saw in that perspective, right? So yep. You'd wonder if they actually, I uh, have to imagine that they, they saw him or they at least figured out the position of it. Shocks and Elyse have kind of slow played this take over towards the other side of the map. They're just now getting in a position. Good kill from Elyse to help open things up. That's Tessa's rotating through Temple. Smoke is down. Elyse going to push forward. They have to be aware of Donut. Utility is out to allow them the safety of the plant. Elyse and Shocks tucked into the corner. And here it comes from Naf. Going to be a retake scenario. Elyse. In for one and out immediately after by Shush. Girl, Shaxi's gonna run through though, finds him instead. He's got a Molotov to hold out the front of the site, try and keep him off the bomb, but it's not on the bomb itself, it's just trying to buy space. He's gonna go for the long play, wrap it around from CT, but fakes that out. Okay. Because if he's on the CT connector, he would have heard that running, so it goes back instead, and you're right, he has no, oh, oh no kit, but... Smoke on top, that's gonna force Shocks forward. He's got the kill now. Clear, Naf has a very, very deep passive angle to watch the flank. Ooh, that's a nice shot. That's a good opener from Shocks. Catching out Totem immediately, or Temple immediately. Look at Kadian. Oh, he's going to hear the Shirley. Yeah. Oh, Naf, the yeah. drive-by. Now he's taken down afterwards. Refresh is there, but the bomb site is lost. It's going to be another retake attempt for Heroic. Heroic fans are all Naffers now. Stallion's going to take down Shocks. Tess is trying to get above the boxes. Sees them retreating away from the planted bomb. That was a huge kill because it keeps their flank completely open. They know that they're going to be looking to ruins from the donut position, but Stallion can't find the angle, and Elise gets him instead. Now OC's on the board. Scope weapon indeed. Headshot into Tessis, and a refresh has to tear Liquid apart once more. He can't do it. Nitro stepping. They make you scratch your head and are like, what, what are they thinking here? And, and, and the answer is, you know, sometimes they're just not, they're not on the same page as fast as they'd like to be, but that comes with time. Elise lurking over towards middle at the moment, watching lane. Good headshot under refresh. He's traded off immediately off on Katie, and Shock's going to come right through the smoke. The bomb site is under attack. That's a huge win. That's the bomb. Stown can't get anything else after that. And Shock's wrapping around a massive play. There's Nap as well. Six to four. Tessis holding out behind the flames. Doesn't see the flash going up. That's going to catch him. He looked away late. He actually still somehow manages to get Nap. Elise middle checking the top window position. Oh, see, this time finally with the AWP. Two kills so far. One was on the scout, remember, as they picked up one. There are many rounds now. Starting to sound like many. Ooh, that's a tough one to clear. Good shot in response from OC, but he was always going to go down in that situation as he overextended. And they never peeked out from that cubby from Wooden. And if you don't know that he's there, and if you're swung wide and you haven't cleared it with a Molotov, my goodness, you're a dead man. Nitro, you might be a dead man. Get your gun in the hands, bro. He never expected Kadian. Why would you? Well, also, I mean, it, I think that round was, this round was always going to be a bit of a disaster as Nitro tried to rotate back with the bomb. Elise was pushed up in middle, sticking to the rifle. I think he's enjoying being proactive and aggressive on the map. Might enjoy it a little bit more. They returned from the flashbang initially, but kills couldn't come out quick enough for Naf and OC. Hey, what's up, Kadian? 
Nice. DHL MVP, the man who could just freaking send it. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah. I don't think his name's Dennis Shapiro, though. Uh, it could be. Alige is gonna go down, so is Nitro. Casper. Huge battle. This is an important exchange. Alige tapping away, can't find the head. He's, surely they swing that from Tetris at this point in time. They don't do it, but Stalin's gonna take down Naf. Rather, Nitro, excuse me, it was Naf that got the response on Tess's, but either way, now they've got to go over to the A site. They've got to make this play work. They didn't win out on Donut. Shush is going to turn it around. That means he has control of Shocks. And OC with Elige is pretty much left to do this all himself. He's got the bomb, and he's going to get inside of Ruins because they need kills. They don't have any security in planting it, and that's gone. Nine to six. A great tack over towards middle. That's a long time to have that many resources. Naf's been all alone. Yeah, certainly got to call him back now. Elige has arrived. However, there's nothing blocking off, as he mentioned, Cave. So Cadian can pop out whenever he feels necessary. They're trying to hold the line, prevent the cross. There's no utility for Rogue. So this is going to be a brawl if they end up dedicating themselves here. They've shown so much presence. Look at the position of Cadian. He's like, guys, go elsewhere. If anyone tries to push up here and flank, I've got him. Nap as well, firing so many bullets. He's going to be running out soon with that USB. I think he had 14 bullets left when we last saw him. Elise getting the first kill after Tessa's found two, but Naf gets Cadian. They're not done. They're switching this back. Naf's going to be a bit of trouble here. He does have support, though. Elise nearby. He only had four bullets left when he went down. And Elise swinging back in, trying to make amends with the loss of his teammate. Finds yet another. His shush is the one that falls, and it's all on a refresh. He does have the bomb in his hands, however. 19 seconds. No way. No chance. He doesn't make it. He's trying to fake it. I don't think Liquid needed to react to this, but he's given them a bit of positioning to work with. They swing back together. Elise gets... Molotov to clear out the short cubby. And then a peek from Tessus, unfortunately blinded up by his teammate. With cubby clear, smokes down in the lane. Tessus will swing cave. Thinks about throwing some utility in first. Never mind, Stalin's already got the shot. Clear indeed, my friends. As Naf this time with the MP9, limited far back behind the smoke. $7,400, though, still just for him. Make it a little more, because he finds another on the MP9. They're still down on this, but a bonus round, as it were. And with a Molotov in position, and Elise in the M4 getting back out toward the stairs, he's able to find the follow-up kill. They're in a three-on-three, -three, still slightly doable. Time is starting to tick, though. They've got the mo or, excuse me, smokes on the extremities, and they've cleared out the cave. This is very winnable now, but Cadian's AWP could be a problem. And then another smoke on top of the bomb, and he's going to run through, tries to go for the knife, and... When he watches that demo, he's going to giggle a little bit because he just traced two outlines. Nitro missed the timing. Oh, they're already in. They're swarming him. He goes down. Shush with the opening kill. Elige, passive towards this bomb site. Naf's got one on the flank. Elise still hasn't put into action. That's the bomb. Drops down. He's got to go back for it. So time bought. And Kadian can't land the shot either. Nor, the, nor can Naf, though, but he forces him off the angle. Bomb's planted. There was no smoke in front of Elige. He was flashed, but now they're going to line up for him. That's an easy hat trick. Magician Johnny going back to get heroic overpass if required, and if Elysia's prediction is true, it will be. Ooh, good shot from OC as they stream out. Good trade as well. Elysia, a little bit sketchy on the spray, but he's got one. There goes Kadian. Off, it hits the deck. One for ones all across the board, and Refresh is just going to sink back. He wants to go to the other side of the map because you've got Stown clearing it out, but Shox is the S X factor here. There's no way, there's no way for Refresh to know that Shox is pushed up. This can get, this is going to be a really weird round. And if he's going to walk the whole way, he can't jump on the boxes. He has to go back through spawn. That's the problem with this long rotation when you're going to do it sneakily, and that means Shox. There's no way to expect him. Easy kill, absolutely. There's no way Shox gets checked. I, I mean, he refreshes thinking Stown's all the way pushed up. What a great round from Shox. Better have turned their fortunes around on this attacking side, or else they're in trouble. And right out of the gate, it's OC with two headshots. Elise is going to go for one more. Oh, dear. That's not the way you want to start this out. OC continuing the confident aggression. Even spots Stown just jumping away, but he's got nowhere to go. He's already blocked. As of yet, but on Vertigo, that's a lot of time bled off the clock. It's, it's isolated. It's individual defense, though. Nobody can actually help each other. Naf and Elise cannot work together. Molotov is out. Naf is kind of stuck between two flames. OC, oh, he rotates over at the perfect time. He's got the moves. He's there. Elise has transitioned over. Great communication from Team Liquid. Again, this defense is absolutely perfect. Props. I did not think that they were going to be able to rotate OC over in time and allow Elise to... Again, they're going to go back to where they got the same entry previously. Uh, it feels like a rinse and repeat round. It's Tessus again to lead the way. This time... 
Nitro doesn't get picked off early, and that's good because he's the only defender here. They do walk up before he's prepared, but he still manages to grab one. Now it's all about delaying. Now it's all about staying alive. Molotov is out to keep them at bay, keep them from pushing in his position. I believe he even has a smoke to put out any Molotov that would come into his location. And they want to press, they want to wrap around him. Nitro still with vision. Not sure where to look, though. That's the bigger problem in all of this. OCAWP, he can watch toward the corner of the crane. Molotov went in behind him, so that actually forces him out a little bit. And we've got a player in the form of Refresh standing by the bomb, staring it down from outside of the railing. Tough one to spot. Shush can't land the spray. He'll be forced out off of the position. Elise on the flank. This is going to be a go. Shush is going to burn. And they found it over the top. That is so sick. What are... An American team, Jason. Oh, say can you see... <laughs> okay. <laughs> really forcing it. Good shot for Mosi. Elise at the off angle and shocks towards the B bomb site. God bless. Three quick kills to open up for Team Liquid. They've got a five on two. Tessis is forced to try and make a play. And he's had space over here a number of times. His one kill is the entry on Nitro two rounds previously in the one round that Heroic has on the board. Second one on Nitro. That's going to give them a ton of ground to work with, but they still have to compensate for the loss. And they have no nades. And OC already found the Dawn's early rise with the opening pick, but it's Tessis that goes through, and he's gone. Tessis isn't done there. He's going to go straight through to CT. This is going to get awkward. He's going to try and do what he can, but there's one on the flank, which means he won't be able to control that. He won't expect the second in that position. Oh, my. What a round from Tessis. That's four. Shox finds one. No way. If he could, boy, he couldn't. Couldn't do it. Couldn't get the nade. Knows that he's gone back. The short flashes over. Wants to try and challenge and push him down. That's a desperate thing to do, but he knows he has to be desperate in this situation. And Tessis is lined up for an ace that he's going to get right now. If you're Hulk, you kind of just got to pray that nobody's here. You'd be wrong. One for one. That's not bad, all things considered. No, not bad at all. And Elise went for the over-the-top shot, which does mean he has to swing. They were certainly ready for that, Cadian. Oh, yikes. Okay. Try again. Maybe just move that cross there a little bit. Yeah, back up. Probably better. And three, two, one, run boost. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, that couldn't have been any better. No. Oh, my God. I want that replay over and over and over again in my life. As if that could... At least we'll get himself up on the fence. Skylight Molly will go towards scaffolding. They're not on the wide side of that smoke. Hang on, they're inside of it. Nitro's got the two kills. Bombs dropped temporarily. They've lost track of Kadian, though. And he's going to get behind the leash and behind Nitro. Not bad from Kadian, but turning around, he realizes OC's up above. And he can see everything from up there using the USP to tap away. It is just Stalin remaining. Is he going to check out on top? OC still trained on ramp with that AWP. And takes his head clean off. No problem. Seven. So mid under attack. And shocks to watch. Smoke to dissipate. They're going to put another smoke down as it blooms. Has a gap in it, but it lets shocks hide again. That was all by design. Let that one fade completely. Let me get a shot and then cover me off. And OC has Stalin down. It's Kadian and Tessis remaining, and that is all. Look at shocks. Yeah, he's been in three different positions. Now, Kadian's trained on this, but obviously scoping in would give away the sound cue. There's the flashbang as the smoke fades. Shox should not get another one. Naf is going to back away. Kadian's brought down very low. I, I mean, this has just been heroic, not even able to do anything because Shox has been in their face the whole time. They've lost all their players just trying to get basic map control underneath the stairs. That's, yeah. Pretty true. It is pretty standard position in a lot of ways. Now, there you go. Serviceable indeed. Finds a double and makes it 11 to, to see it. Liquid loved it. They've been dominant in this series so far. Oh. They do get chunked down pretty bad. Yeah, there's some utility damage that goes the way of the CT. Certainly, they have the favoritism and <laughs> side pistol headshots. You see? Yeah. Don't complicate it before. Yeah. Running the headshot strategy on both halves. Good shot from Elige. Immediate kill. Oh, the timing. The timing as Refresh backs away. Oh, Elige is a little bit lucky, but actually so is Kadian to a certain extent. B-bomb site pretty much lost. That kept so much attention on the other side of the map. Shush has no backup. Down to one HP. He's dropped. Liquid off that one kill from Elige and a little bit of extra pressure. Kept this defense on the other side of the map as long as possible. And a tough retake now at hand for Heroic. No kit. 
Naf holding, trying to swing both sides. Shock's taken out. Refresh the one to get the kill, but Naf knows the information. Plays both sides of the AC unit. Hang on. This could be problematic. There isn't any utility to cover off that bomb. No smokes. Oh, and they don't even check it. They don't look for a leash. That one gets the shot back, though. And... Flash over the box. But the off angle, that's not going to catch them at all. Not going to hinder the position. Refresh here's becoming. Goes first. Katie unable to follow it up and down goes the liege. Not the other way around. Not the bait in for the rifle. Just a very quick fall and a nice response as they jump back toward the site. Shoulder shows. OC. He's able to clip the edge and he'll take refresh down on the second shot. That's as clean as a whistle. But it's a two versus three with 11 seconds left. OC. Oh my God, if he hit that. Gotta protect Naf. Oh, Balm's gotta go down right now. He knows the lane's most likely. They're gonna swing it around. He's gotten off the plan. Naf's gonna try and just stay alive, try and get kills, can't do it. And so far, Shock's gonna swing back to a position that he previously occupied in the first half, and he's gonna get a dish of his own medicine. Straight to the faces, Stalin gets the kill. Heroic looking solid. I mean, this is, Liquid's gotta know how to re recover in these situations as well. And this is where we just had one timeout. We're likely to see some more, but it gets desperate. They had a flawless half in a lot of ways, but they really do need to still get it done, get it across the line. 7 HP for OC, and he's going down, so now we are two rounds apart at nothing. KE can get caught in transition, but he's ready. He's prepared as, sure as Shox leads the lurk. Flank is coming in. Naf. Good find from Kadian. The no scope directly beneath. And now this double flank from Tess's and Refresh gets so powerful. Kadian and Shush just have to pause. Let their teammate tech take next contact. Good shot from OC. Bomb still not down yet. Uh, yeah, Refresh. Makes contact, but can't find the kill. OC just tapping to hold him off and aware they could be underneath of the catwalk. Man, look at the low HP, though. They need those headshots. No wonder he's trying to find one. Sneaky play from Nitro, and it's going to yield one, expecting Ooh. two. He reads it perfectly, and now he's got to get back on the horse and back to his former and longtime teammate, Elige. But Heroic brought down to just unarmored USPs. Liquid, a great opportunity to inch ever closer. It's a series point. Flashbang is going to come in, but Naf had an off angle. Mac 10 just chews him up. Pistols out as well. Naf might be on for another ace, but Shush has bailed out, unfortunately. Not even going to give him the chance. Another ace with an SMG for Naf. Three kills with that Mac 10. Three kills worth of heavy bonus money. Elige is just going to take him down phase. You obviously have avoided Gambit. You're avoiding Na'Vi. Even, you know, Astralis to a certain extent has looked, you know, somewhat dangerous at times, although obviously shadow of their former glory. Good kill from Tess's with the 5-7. Yeah, that was the smoke hitting the body as well, giving it away. And now Kadian combining with Tess. This is going to get a gun to his teammate, but the spray through. I thought Nitro was going to get all three. Still manages to do a decent job. Tess is on 57. Has to rotate back to the site, the pre-fire, in an attempt to bait, nearly hit Naf, but actually, if he had held it, he would have killed him, and Naf gets it instead. Now they've got lots to work with in the site. Shocks checking for a flank that has not arrived yet, and has he checked too soon? Does that actually give away position? Because Shocks sliding up to put the bomb down is going to mean that ramp is very much getting locked in, getting closed off. Stalin's already up on the scaffolding. Is he gonna push the lane? Is he gonna walk out directly behind shots? Right now, he absolutely is. It's as well in these positions in the first half, one round, he got a triple kill in multiple different positions. He is gonna clear it, but can't connect the shots as cleanly as he would have liked through the stairs. Good recovery from OC, gets the immediate trade as well without taking damage, so. I shouldn't say it, without taking damage, without taking substantial damage, so that will give them something back, considering how dangerous that could have been. They are still a man down, though, having lost a liege. Back towards middle. Naf holding at the base of the ramp. Tess is to be challenged, and he is the only one here. Nitro is going to lead the way. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Transitions to utility. Transitions to innate at the worst possible time. Yeah, not the best situation to put yourself in. No doubt about it. Refresh. That's an easy three on three that they found. Doesn't cost him anything. Nitro getting closer. 
Stalin with the aggressive position. This is another one that could be one and done. Oh, he didn't see them either. He hesitated. Nitro comes out from behind the stairs. That's going to put this into a three on two. And Nitro to execute quickly. They know that they've just opened up the B site. Refresh trying to get above the window. Smoke down in front of him, though. He spams in. And they'll drop and go very fast. And they're going to boost up drywall close. This might catch off Nitro as he's so low on HP. But oh my god, he just barely, just barely got up behind the AC unit. And if he doesn't move at all, there's no reason for them to suspect his presence. He's got to be careful with these smokes dissipating, though. Timer on that of how aggressive he can be in this position. Refresh certainly aware of the possibility. Someone would be there, so pre-fires in on entry. And that gives Naf a chance. He's only good for one. So it's Refresh versus OC. The rookie versus the man who tore Liquid apart in its previous iteration at Pro League, and he's already spotted. Refresh knows he's far from the bomb, and that means he's got far time. He's got so much time, oh. and OC's going to win it out.